section 7 so we are adding a section called section 7 just to keep it simple <coughs> Okay, so I don't want just one event to happen. I just want to first, uh, let's see how it is. Everything is, it's hidden. So I, we want to show, then hide. Show. Then we want to hide. Then we want to fade in. Then fade out. And then animate. No, yeah, that, I think this is enough. And then you can specify different timings here. This can be fast. This can be slow. This is called chaining. Chaining is where you call multiple animations on a single element. Okay, let's see. So we should have section 7. So you click on it. Hide, show. Fade in, fade out. Those are the four animations we added. So see, hide, show, fade in, fade out. Okay, show, hide, fade in, fade out. Yeah. So in one statement, when you call like multiple um, animation, it's called chaining. Okay. Okay, so let's just do a recap. To hide or show something, you use just the methods called hide show. Those are available as part of jQuery animation. Okay. Instead of doing a hide and a show separately, if you want them to happen um, alternately, then you would use a toggle. Okay. Then here we came to slide up. Slide up and slide down are similar to hide and show, except they are a little bit more graceful. And if you want to toggle, it's called a slide toggle. Okay, same with the fade. Fade out. Fade out will hide. Fade in will show. And then fade toggle would switch between the two. All of these are taking a parameter. The first parameter is called as the um, speed, right? How fast do you want something to happen? So this parameter can be, you can specify within quotes slow or fast. Or you could give it in milliseconds. Here I have given it as Five seconds, right? 5,000 milliseconds. The second parameter you see is called as a callback function. The callback function gets called at the end of the animation. Okay? In this case, it's going to write to console log at the end of the animation. Okay? Um, so those are the few. If you want to stop an animation in the middle, we wrote a button. And then all you do is on the element for which the animation is attached to, okay, not the, where it is triggered. So, for example, H1, when you click on H1, some divs are being hidden. So, you have to stop, you have to apply the stop method on the divs, not on the H1. So, see here, H1 siblings, right? That's what we are saying. So, the siblings have an event attached, um, an animation attached. So, only for that one, you can stop. So stop simply stops the animation before it gets completed. This could be, you know, a fun thing to have. Like if you have some elements on a page that's very distracting to the user and they don't like it, you can use the stop and let them stop it if you don't care for it. Okay. The coolest of all the functions, uh, uh, all the uh, effects that we have is called as the animate. Animate can take three parameters. First parameter is going to be within the curly braces. This is where you can give the CSS that you want to change on that specific element. The CSS cannot be written with hyphens like we do here. Um, like this. You cannot write like this. It has to be written in camel case. Um, <clears throat> see here, font. You're not seeing font hyphen lowercase size. Instead, you have to use the camel case font size. Okay. <clears throat> um, other than that, it follows the same syntax. The only thing that you cannot do inside an animate is to change the 
color property of an element whether it is the font color text color border color anything to do with color you cannot use animate to do that okay so the first parameter for animate is within curly braces the css second parameter gives the speed the third parameter is the callback function so you use an anonymous function here and then here i am setting the css as background color is red see remember within the animate first parameter you cannot change color but you can do that here in the callback function if you want okay we also saw about how to queue events right queue animation so here i have animation one animation two animation three this is called queuing where you're calling one after the other they get called first one once this gets done the second one gets called that gets done so on and so forth okay then we talked about chaining so just trying to see where chaining is okay chaining chaining is where this is where we have chaining chaining is where we are calling multiple animations in a single sentence on a single element um so a toggle can only do two things right but in this case see we can do like four different things and you can set the timer callback function can be different for each one all that anything you can do with the um you know one specific animate function you can do with all these it can also be written this way in case you have like a callback and all of that and uh, you know this is okay too you can do this way also so but it's you can specify different uh, um, callbacks you can add the animate here if you want you know anything is possible but this is called as chaining this again gets called only one after another but you are just creating a series of events it's just a just an approach so that's all I have for today for um, jQuery animation effects. Thank you.